I'm Sheila Bailey from Westside Studio of Performing Arts. Today we're going to show you how to mark, attach, and sew your point shoes and get them ready for your feet and how to tie them and cut them so that we can use them, use your tools to the best of your ability. This is what you'll need. You'll need your point shoes, a pen, elastic, ribbons, scissors, and I love these little stitch kits, and a one-time use of a lighter. When you're marking your shoes, for starters, you fold that all the way up and we make a mark right here under the drawstring. That is where your ribbons will be. We fold this heel back and I make marks on the outside of this shank in the shoe, if my pen will work. That is where your elastics will be. You don't want your elastics to bother your Achilles tendon, but you want them to hold the heel onto your ankle. I'm gonna go ahead and mark both shoes real quick because we're gonna sew them. And that, the ribbons go up front, the elastics go in the back. Okay. Then we're going to take the elastic we're going to cut it in half there's one for each shoe right there then we're going to take our ribbon and we're going to take it in half one for each shoe then we cut it a half, so we have one for each foot, two for each shoe. Please note and remember, you have a shiny side to a ribbon and a flat side to a ribbon. We're going to attach the shiny side out. I'm going to get my needles ready. You're just gonna tie a knot in the end of your thread. I just do one knot on one thing when you're using the stitch kit thread. If you're using regular thread, double string and double knot. Now it's ready to go, and I have enough to at least do one shoe, if not two. So you're going to take your first ribbon and fold it at the end, and we're gonna make another fold at the end so that the ribbon won't fray as you wear it. We're placing it right on the middle of that mark that we made. We're gonna start on the inside, and we're just gonna do a little back and forth and back and forth. I like the knot on the inside. It looks prettier on the outside of the shoe. And I kind of do an up and forward, up and forward, up and forward the first round. Okay, so we're going back and forth and back and forth. Some people like to make triangles down the edge and fold it down longer and flatter inside. I don't necessarily need that. I go all the way down and I make sure I get my ends in there. When I get to the end, I like to really make sure I'm attaching that down. And now we're just gonna come right back up. I'm gonna get a little more into the canvas on some of them. You just want to stay away from the drawstring because we want to be able to use that when we put it on the foot. Okay, 
So here we are coming into our last stitch. We've gone down and back, and now I just take this end right here, and I go in like that, and this is how I'm going to do my knot. I'm just gonna go underneath. And tie me a little knot. And there you have on the inside of the shoe and on the outside of the shoe. It might look messy to perfectionists, but you just need this ribbon to stay attached. You won't see it from the stage. Okay, we've attached both ribbons and we're ready to do our elastic. We're gonna take this part of the elastic and I move it a little bit, almost a quarter, in front of that and I just kinda do it on the edge and here again, don't get your drawstring in there. I start on the inside. I've tied another knot at one end of my thread. And now we're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna have to flip, that, flip this elastic back and forth and back and forth as you're going. The elastic on the shoe is just to help you keep the heel up and get the shoe on. Sometimes your shoes are pretty tight and you can use that to pull your heel on. And when your shoes are not broken, sometimes it, new point students have a hard time keeping their heel on. And there's different point shoes that have low cut heels and high cut heels, so that makes a difference too if you get confused on why certain shoes feel different. Now I'm ready to start heading back. I got the very end of that because I want to make sure it's staying down and flat. When I'm coming back, I don't worry too much about taking small stitches. I'm just going to get back and tie the knot. Okay, so here we are at the end. I'm going in, catching the very end of that, and I'm going inside, and I'm going to catch the bottom of the canvas again, and I'm just going to do another little knot. I'm gonna pull that through there, and do me another little knot, and then I'm going to cut this like that. And then it's on there good enough. That's what it looks like on the outside, and on the inside. Okay, now we're going to try it on Maddie's foot and make sure that we know where that elastic should go. Okay, make sure the drawstrings are going to work. Now we're pulling this across her ankle and I know that it's on the outside of that ankle so I'm going like that. And I'm just going to make a little mark right in here. So I kind of know that's where I'm going to be putting her thing. And or you could do it on this outside if you want. You know you're going to match that up to that back one. Okay, we just finished marking that. So that's about where it was tight enough for her. So I'm going to take that mark and I'm going to move it back there onto that other mark that I made. I'm going to move it out just a little bit. And now I'm going to start again right in there. And I'm just going to go down and back. We've just finished our second shoe, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut 
the excess of the elastic. There's scissors in the. So now we're ready to go. Okay, dancers put all kinds of things in their um, point shoes. This is what I prefer. It's a pro pad because it's the protection is on the top of the toes where you need it, and the underneath is like a tights so that you can use the floor. You need to be able to use the floor with your toes. So this is your best bet for padding or anything that you want to put in your shoe. Maddie here's already got hers in. She's taped her toes and she's got them on. You lay your toes very flat and slip it down in here. Now remember this is for students with new shoes. So we've got to make sure the drawstring is pulled just taut, not extra tight. And we're going to tie this in a knot and we're going to cut this. You want to cut it short enough or even all the way off if you need to. You don't want it to be down there bugging your foot. So take those off and tuck that back in. Okay, so we pull that drawstring, make sure it's good. And then we're going to tie, tie it in a knot, cut it enough that it'll stay tucked in so it won't be bugging your foot. Slipping her shoes in, her feet in. And we're going to start with this ribbon. We take our outside ribbon, it's going across your little bone, it's going around your ankle, and it's going to stop right here in the middle of this little dent on the inside of your ankle. You're taking your inside ribbon and it's going underneath, across the top, and it's going to stop right here on the inside of your ankle. Okay, now hold on just a minute. Okay, so before we cut this though, you need to stand up and make sure that these, this is the feet you wanna wear. And I can talk about it. Okay, we're, I've made her change her shoes on other foot before we cut because we want to make sure which feet she wants to wear these shoes which is the most comfortable for her. Mm -hmm. and do the other foot I kind of like it right here Do you like this foot okay yeah. all right so we're starting over we're taking the outside ribbing ribbon it's going across her bone under and it stops on the inside of the ankle behind the ankle bone your inside ribbon is coming across the front underneath and we're going to tie it in a knot right here. Now I'm going to take the ribbon and I'm going to cut it. I got these other there's just big things. And then you have to do the one-time burn on the ends of that ribbon to keep it from fraying. Then we're going to lift up this ribbon. We're going to take those, that little tail and we're going to pull it down through so the knot's down so that this ribbon just lays pretty and flat across the front and across the back. You can get your finger in there. It's easier when you're doing this yourself. Then you take this and you're going to fold it up underneath there and it's going to take out that slack. And then you've got a nice tied ribbon all the way around. Okay, let's do the other foot. So we're going to take our outside ribbon across the front, over the ankle bone, around the back, over the other ankle bone. It stops on the inside inside ribbon is coming across the front over the top and it's stopping on the inside. We're going to tie another knot. Then we're going to take our ends and this is just the one time thing that you cut these and a one time thing that you burn them. As a teacher, I never 
cut ribbon until I see their shoes tied correctly. We're gonna make sure that's good and flat. Pull that knot down through. Fold that under, tuck it back under, and voila. Go ahead and stand up, Maddie. Let's see. So here she is in her brand new shoes. And we probably are gonna pull that drawstring a little bit tighter. And just do one foot surly point. Yep, dancers, make sure you're always dancing right on top of that platform. This is your platform. It's a good solid box. You can't be dancing back here. You'll break your shoe in wrong, and then you cannot get yourself on point. Roll through your foot, and let's do the other foot. Certainly point, uh-huh. Make sure you're on that platform. Make sure you're on that box so that you're breaking your shoe in correctly. This is going to come up in and fit your foot just fine. Okay, and go through your foot. Make sure you're going right down the center of that shank. Okay, Maddie's ready to run to her rehearsal.